Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at things that are not as bad as you think. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Giving up. Sometimes giving up is the best thing you can do. Yeah. I feel like for some people it's hard for them to give up because they've spent so long on something or like or on a project or like or a relationship where they're like but it's already been like what five years and giving up is just like a waste now I have to work on it I have to continue it even though they know it's not gonna work out I feel like the best thing is just to let it go don't waste any more time on something that won't work out not knowing something it's not shameful to admit it yeah finally I learned this you know I feel like when I was in high school I never wanted to admit that I didn't know something you know but now every single time I don't know what something means I'm like what does that mean what do you mean what does this mean what you say what does that mean I don't get it can you explain it to me <laughs> now I just ask everything somebody who changes their beliefs oh yeah of course if they're changing for the better I hopefully <laughs> Breakups. Sometimes it's better to end things instead of trying to hold a failing relationship together. Yes. And please don't have a kid just to fix a relationship. Please do not. Saying no when someone asks you to do something that they're entirely capable of doing. Yeah. Yeah, you know, when your mom asks you to get a glass of water, say no because she has legs. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't say no. But yeah, I get, I get this, I get it. Failure. Yeah, of course that's not a bad thing. Everyone needs to fail at one point, right? And then they can learn from it. And that's how you get better at things. You keep failing, you keep learning, fail, learn, fail, learn, fail, learn. All right. <laughs> that's always going to happen. Just accept it and just learn from it, basically. Failure doesn't mean that's like your entire life now, you know? It does not define your entire life, okay? So just learn from it and make things better. Asking for help. Yeah, for sure, man. If you're kidnapped, for sure. Yell help. Yell for help, okay? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, man, I, this is hard for me. I need to know how to like ask for help. I can ask for like things that I don't know the meaning of, you know, and they can explain it because that's like very easy. But like, it's so hard for me to get help from someone. Even if it's like, oh, can you help me? do this <laughs> it's like uh, i don't want to bother them going to dinner or a movie alone mm. not being super ambitious about your work slash career yeah i feel like sometimes ambition is like a dangerous thing okay <laughs> just be chill about it all right defending yourself against a customer who is extremely rude yeah <laughs> yeah but like just hope your manager is on your side right they should be though, they should be. Come on, a customer who always thinks they're right. <sighs> We've had enough of that, okay? Admitting you're wrong. Of course that's not bad. So many people think that's a bad thing. Or like, you know, they don't want their pride to be crushed, okay? But sometimes it's okay to put aside your pride and apologize for something you've done wrong, okay? Being basic in the sense that you have likes and hobbies similar to a group of people. Oh, yeah, of course. Basic. <laughs> I feel like now people view basic as like such a bad thing. Disliking your family. If your family always has been a bunch of jerks to you, what is the sense of even having respect for them? I agree. Like your family are people as well and you're allowed to hate them. <laughs> you're allowed to dislike them depending on the person that they are, right? Don't feel any guilt for disliking your family because they're trash to you, you know? Putting your happiness before the expectations of your family. Of course, your happiness always comes first. Like you're living in your body, you're living your life. Your happiness is the most important, okay? Don't make someone else happy if you're not happy yourself. You have to be happy, okay? I actually learned that from my mom. I remember I would always do everything to try to like make my parents happy. Do all this and do all this, you know. And then I just realized that I wasn't actually happy doing what I was doing. But I was thinking as long as they're happy, then I'll be fine. But then my mom was like, no, I'm not happy if you're not happy. So like, you better be happy. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Disappointing your parents or friends by your life decisions. Oh yeah, who cares about them? <laughs> If you're happy with what you want to do, like your job, your career, and your relationship, whatever, 
it's your choice okay <laughs> who cares what they think as long as you're happy that's all good as long as you're not harming anyone that's all good it's just so annoying how like some parents get in the way of the kid's life just cause just cause they believe their kids should be dating someone else you know like really they found someone suitable for them and that's who they want to spend their life with and why would you want to change that why what if the person that you recommended ends up being a total trash person now what's gonna happen being alone it's far less stressful than having other people around <laughs> this is me eh? hey hey did i write this <laughs> Yeah, man, it's so stressful with people. I cannot. Gaming for a couple hours straight. If you enjoy doing it and don't neglect your life, there really is no difference to binge watching something or reading a book. I realize this, you know? I feel like before I was always like, man, I game too much. It's so bad. But then I spent like over five hours on a puzzle. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> hold on a second. I mean, I'm basically wasting a lot of time on like both things. Doesn't mean one is worse than the other. Yeah, I realized this because I was like, you know, I should stop gaming and then I should start doing some puzzles and then that will be more productive. But like they're both basically a hobby, you know, so. Okay. Curious children. That's like the best thing for a child to be because they want to learn the facts and form their own opinions. But parents act as if they're like inappropriate or annoying. Oh, isn't it good to have curious children? You know, like they want to learn new things and that's how they'll grow as a person, as a kid. Why would you stop your kids from doing that? Contentment. I not only don't need an exciting life, I actively don't want one. One of my friends loves to travel and do crazy stuff. Scuba diving, swimming with sharks, going on days long backpacking trips. Not all for me. She cannot fathom the fact I don't care for travel. Oh my gosh, this is me. Yeah, I don't really like traveling. And I also don't really like doing like crazy things. Yeah, I can just be alone with my dog and actually be content. This is what it is, contentment, you know? Like, contentment to me is being happy. As long as I'm not sad, I feel like I'm happy, you know? Being content with everything. Yeah! Being a virgin. <laughs> Why? Why do people think that's a bad thing? I don't get it. I thought this was supposed to be like a good thing, you know? <laughs> like in back in the days, wasn't this like a good thing? It's just crazy. It's just crazy. Being frugal to a point. Yeah, if you need to save up, then it's okay. But like, don't be frugal for like everything, okay? Because you gotta enjoy your life too, okay? Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, Thanks for watching, hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!